Imagine, you have made purchases at the grocery store and at the end, security asks you to throw one third of all the goods, the goods you have bought into a bin. What emotions would you experience? Probably it will be anger and irritation. Or you have scored 100% on a test, but your teacher gives you only 66 for the perfect done work. The same thing happens with the food waste. Food waste is a, and where it's a big problem nowadays. Uh, it causes environmental, social, and financial consequences. One in three billions of food is wasted annually, according to the Food and Agriculture Association of the United Nations, which is one third of all food produced for human consumption. This amount of food. This amount of food costs 750 billions of dollars and uh, I think we can invest it much more better than just throwing it to the bin. Maybe we can build a school in Africa or build a new environmental school for the kids that want to know more about our environment. But the strategy of this whole thing is not in the financial issues. Every day 815 million of people go to bed hungry. It is every one of nine people in the world. There are people who live below uh, poverty line and they can't afford eating healthy or just eating at all. And every one of them could be fed with the amount of food uh, that we uh, throw away on a daily basis. Just think about it. It is every ninth person. Uh, food waste also causes some environmental issues. When we are talking about discard food, we're talking not only about uh, the food, we're talking about the resources uh, which are required to produce and to deliver it to the person. Have you known that one large banana costs us 160 liters of water to produce, but it's not the biggest problem? When food waste goes on the landfills, it decomposes without access to oxygen and creates methane, which is 23% uh, worse and deadly uh, than carbon dioxide. 50% of the food waste comes from our home, so it is within our ability to reduce this amount. Uh, when we learn more about sustainability and reduce food waste, we can spend less uh, money on food, uh, reduce the number of the carbon dioxide, and uh, support our local communities with untouched donated food. So I want to provide you with tips how to, uh, what to do at our homes to reduce the food waste. So the first thing is planning. I think every person has experienced this situation when you go at a grocery store uh, and you know that you, need to buy to, uh, that you need to buy only bread and milk. But at the end, when you go out of the store, you understand that you are carrying two huge heavy packets which, does, which do not contain any bread and milk in it. Sometimes we don't know exactly what we want to eat. That's why we, uh, we are overbuying uh, food that we can't consume. So what you need to do? Firstly, think about the food that you want to eat or the meal you want to prepare. Second, write the list of ingredients and buy only that goods that are required in your recipe. The second is storage. Uh, some people doesn't know that they uh, need to look at the labels to understand the right storage conditions. So uh, after you got your goods uh, to home, what do you need to do? You look at the label and understand on which shelf you need to uh, put your goods. If you understand that you bought something that runs off very quickly, you just need to store it into the freezer, then throwing it away. If we have any food left in our family, we analyze what we have done wrong and we are trying to understand how to reduce the amount of food that we consume. It makes sense not to eat everything to the end, but to consume properly. For, uh, if we know how to consume properly, we can buy less food and we can reduce the amount of food on our fridges and we will just not have this problem. We will need nothing to waste 
because we will eat just everything that we have. Then make sure that you understand the label. Oh, my bad. I already talked about it to you. So uh, buy local foods. Uh, what was the last time uh, when you had uh, a shopping, uh, not at the uh, store, but at the market? Uh, I try to attend a local market at least one time uh, a week. Uh, uh, the food uh, or which you can uh, which you can find at the stalls uh, is got there from the nearby region. It means the tomatoes and cucumbers uh, which you have got uh, had a less journey, and there are less uh, resources were required to get them to you. So it's like a win-win situation. Uh, the local marketers are happy because you buy their product and you support the economic of your region and you are happy because you know that you buy the products that did not cause any environmental problems. And yes, remember the birds. We all used to feed birds when we were kids, but what happened now? Uh, when there is a lack of food in autumn and winter, you can give them an old loaf of bread or grains. Who knows, maybe you will save somebody's life. Composting. Composting diverts waste from landfills, and uh, because of that, uh, the methane emissions get less. According to the FAO, uh, home composting uh, helps to reduce more than 115 uh, kilograms of food waste per household annually. So what you need to do? Uh, the uh, plants, uh, the food that you have at your uh, sink when you wash the dishes, everything of that is a compost. Uh, so wh when it's the summer, just go uh, to your uh, country house and uh, bury it in the ground. There is nothing bad in burying food leftovers. Uh, you need to give the, the nature what you have got from it. Uh, it helps uh, nature to... Uh, uh, don't be afraid to bury leftovers. We need to give the nature what we took from her. Every one of us can change our behavior to change a planet. Remember, everything starts with you. So what do you need to do? First of all, you can eat the apple that have some imperfection in it, because as you know, nothing is perfect in this world. You can uh, don't buy that uh, second uh, pack of crisps because it's uh, low in price. You know that you will never eat it and it just will go to the food waste. Or you will buy a strawberry at the local market to help entrepreneurs and manufacturers to grow. The solution is simple. As much in our world. You just need to understand why and for what we need to reduce the food waste. One person cannot fix the environmental problem, but if everyone uh, will try their best and uh, just pay a little bit more attention, uh, the problem will be solved. So I argue to consume wisely and responsibly.